possible. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of fun. Um, people are, through the research, fascinated with you landing at South Park because of the documentary. I think that was the first time a lot of people found out that yeah. you'd been working there. Um, so let's go to a piece of that that people may not know that I saw in the research that I was instantly fascinated by, which is the South Park retreat. Because mm -hmm. um, it sounded like the most chill like, environment possible yeah. to break stories for a new season. Yeah, it's kind of, it's like, yeah, a friend of mine says like comedy Mensa camp or something. It's yeah. like, for me, going to that place, like I've said before with the writing, I, you know, it was a, a, you know, it's like jokes, you know, is one thing, but structure is another thing I was trying to learn, of right. like how to structure these things. And uh, they're like, the geniuses at it. The, Matt and Trey are absolute geniuses at it. And it's, learning how much of it's just instinctual, and, but there are rules that they kind of will apply logic. Yeah. How much of, like logic plays into it and how much emotion plays into it? was really fascinating to me. You think South Park and you just remember like the big jokes, but all they talk about is the emotion of things. You Connection. Know? Connection and like, no, but the emotion of, that we're dealing with here is he wants this or someone is, you know, feels bad about blah, you know, whatever. Um, but yeah. yeah, those retreats are a blast. Um, specifically, example uh, I thought of that was the way you explained um, the way Matt read an article about the NCAA yeah. and how the players weren't paid, <laughs> and yet the NCAA makes a gazillion dollars from video games now. So the sketch was Cartman wants to own slaves the way that the NCAA does and yeah. goes to them for advice. Yeah, he goes to the, he goes to a college. Yeah, and he was like, oh, and and the thing that me and Vernon Chapman I think pitched at was that he's like a you should go as a plantation owner right and like I understand you got some boys here and he's got like a fan and, like, <laughs> and he's looking at the basketball team and like, <laughs> and, but the way it happens is like Matt stands at one thing and he just goes this is bullshit I just watched a front line on it and, right. and he's just going off right and Trey is kind of Trey paces in circles around us so we're all sitting in Trey's pacing, like De Niro's Al Capone and the Untouchables. Got you know? <laughs> you know, and you're just like, smash in. <laughs> you know, just like, yeah. No, but he's kind of pacing, thinking, and then, and then. He and sees then, the Matrix. And then, yeah, it just, it's like this mental Tetris thing of like. And then he goes, okay, so Carmen wants slaves, so he goes to college. So it's just this logical thing. So you go to a college to get slaves, and they turn them away. So then, uh, Crack babies, crack babies, the correlation between, like, it's just this thing of, like, crack baby football. Okay, what's crack baby football? He needs the rules for crack baby football, you know, and it's just this long thing, and you just watch Trey kind of go off, and you're like, whoa. And then, and then Vernon Chapman is kind of like the quiet assassin genius that ev the whole room is kind of just plain to him. Because oh, wow. he's very quiet, but he's, like, so smart and perceptive that if he laughs or he's like, yeah, that's it, then it's like, we're all like, it's like, okay, let's go. We're good now. But Vernon, uh, we, the first episode I think I worked with on, on South Park was the Kanye West fish stick episode where he thinks it, where people, the joke about fish sticks and then Kanye doesn't get the joke and he thinks people think he's a gay fish. Um, and there was a part in the episode where we were writing it and I remember, it was at the retreat, where we go, okay, so, there was a fish sticks joke. Everyone knew it was a joke except Kanye West because we were like, he doesn't have a sense of humor. And so it was like, he actually thought people thought he sucks fish sticks. And, uh, and he's like, I am not a gay fish. I am not a gay fish. This is bullshit. Go find out who made this joke about me. And so the people come back and they go, we found the guy who made the joke. And so we were all kind of going, okay, so they found Cartman because Cartman made up the joke. Okay, so they go downstairs and there's Cartman. And they come in, and then Vernon goes, well, instead of Carmen, what if it was Carlos Mencina? <laughs> and we all went, <laughs> And then Vernon just went off, because he was known for stealing jokes. Yeah. So it was Carlos Mencina, and he was going like, my dick don't work, man, and like all this shit. And they'd beat him up and everything. And we, that's like what Vernon does. Like that is like that percept, like he just quietly listens and goes, this is what it needs. 
it's like the John Cleese thing of what Graham Chapman would bring to like the parrot sketch initially is going to be about a car, right. you know, and like this car doesn't work. Well, and he goes, what if it's a parrot instead of a car? Like that guy in the room right. who just makes everything go, oh, now it's like really memorable, you know, that's Vernon. Now we've punched through the ridiculous. Yeah, now he got to this thing and he's, uh, yeah, he's, a, he's uh, I think, an unsung hero in comedy. I know you Chapman. did two seasons. Did you do the one that's about to start again? Yeah, I've done. Actually, I've been, I've been doing retreat since two thousand eight. Right. Um, and then last season, uh, I worked on the whole season as a writer. And then this season, no, I'm, I haven't 